Hello, hello guys, and welcome back to Cat Dog Pig Duck Plays Feed the Beast Horizons. How you doing, everybody? So guys, if you remember in the last episode, we messed around with some runic armor. We made ourselves some kick-ass boots. Uh, these are the boots of the Traveler, and we combined them with our runic armor. Today, we are going to continue messing around with Domcraft. As you can see, I got my wand out, and I'm flailing it around. Expelliarmus! Um, yeah, so let's look at what I did here. Um, if I pull up my wand focus guide here, I think I just hit F. Well, it's already out. Um, I have my ice wand core on here. I think it's called frost, actually. It's this guy, wand core frost. Uh, care must be taken when aiming as ice, ice chunks are capable of destroying fragile objects. And damn, if that ain't true, I was messing around with this thing and check this out. It breaks windows. I love that. That is the best. But this is really cool. Let's go try it out on maybe some zombies real quick. It's nighttime still, so there should be some guys spawning out here. I just really wanted to try this out. I put um, potency 2 on it. Where are all the zombies at? There isn't one mob out here. Oh, good gosh. Wait, maybe there's one in here. Hello? Zombies? Man, what the heck? I figured there'd at least be one mob. Oh, wow. I totally uh, unlucked out on that one. Well, here's a pig. <laughs> this poor pig is going to feel our wrath. Let's see if we can zap him. So it takes two. Two of those to kill a pig. The range on it is pretty good. Oh, look, and it freezes water, too. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is so cool. And these things bounce everywhere if you hit them right. So, like, if you wanted to hit an enemy with a bank shot. And they don't take up much energy to shoot either. So you can totally spam these. I love this thing. This is my new favorite weapon. I think I'm going to kill everything with it. Pew, 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 pew. Expelliarmus. <laughs> Very cool. Anyway, guys, um, what I want to do today is go into an area of Thomcraft we haven't messed with yet. Um, let's take a look here. There's a new tab in the new version of Thom or, or the new version of Horizons called Tainted Arts, and it looks very spooky. The first thing you open up is this thing, Tainted Lands, and it just gives you some, you know, some information on Tainted Lands, which you can find out in the world. And what we want to make today is the Shovel of the Purifier. It doesn't look too hard to make. It takes a Thaumium Shovel, two Order Shards, a Diamond, and a Silverwood Lock. So we can get that stuff ready. Let's see if we have Thaumium. That would save us some time if we did. So Thaum. We have three Thaumium. We only need one. So that works out good. So if I go here, I don't have any wood on me. That is a shame. Let's see here. Wood, wood, wood. We'll just take some oak. And I think I just make this like a regular shovel. You know, but with thaumium. There we go. Thaumium shovel. Cool. So there's our middle piece. We could put that there. Uh, let's get some stuff out of our inventory, maybe. Just to get things moving. Do I have an order shard in here? I do not. Let's type in shard grab four of these and we need one diamond so we'll take two just in case there we go um, yeah so I should have a great wood log in here and we can get this thing going and maybe we can uh, mess with it apparently with this shovel you can take it to the tainted lands and dig up the tainted dirt really easily or real easily <laughs> And uh, then you have a chance of getting something called like a um, taint shard. And then you can use that to make like a really awesome uh, wand core, which holds like 150 Vs. So that's what we're aiming for. We want that really awesome wand core. So Zach Galifianakis. There we go. All right, let's check this out. We're getting the proper items going in here. We should probably put on our goggles of revealing. So we could see what the heck's going on. 
Yeah, we'll just keep an eye on everything, make sure everything goes smooth. Everything seems fine. It's now taking Perfodio. Profodio. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, all right. Take that, please. And now it's taking the diamond. Very good. And if it'll take that, we'll be done. Huzzah! We've got our tainted shovel. Look at this thing. Shuttle, shovel of the purifier. Very cool. It, it's from Forbidden Magic. So guys, um, what I want to do with this is I'm going to have to go find some tainted land. Basically, that's a biome that's being overrun by taint out here somewhere. I think there's one in this direction. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back with you when I find that. Okay, guys, I found some. I found some taint. You can always spot it because it's awfully purple. And yeah, here it is. It's this awful, awful place. Um, apparently monsters can spawn in here like weird tentacles and like this stuff called fibrous taint and uh, mobs take damage in it. So yeah, let's go ahead and land and let's try to dig some of this up with a regular shovel. Actually, that dug up pretty quick, didn't it? Okay, what the heck? I thought this was supposed to be hard. Ah, there we go. So. As you can see with this shovel, it's pretty hard, and this is the top of the line shovel. This is a cobalt shovel, but if we use this shovel of the purifier, it should pop right off. And we should be able to get a shard or two out of this. That's what we're aiming for. We want a pretty shard. So let's dig up this stuff and see if we can get one. Okay, I'm not having any luck right away. Look at this, some of it has like little eyeballs on it. All right, I'm not getting anything, am I? All right, we'll just keep trying. Huh, I was thinking it was gonna be a bit more satisfying than this. This seems to be, oh, got one. All right, let's take a look-see. So with this, taint shard normally when you pick up a tainted item it dissolves in your inventory and give, makes you sick but with this guy you can just carry him around so let's go ahead and maybe like just throw him on the ground real quick and we'll give him a quick scan and there we go we got a little bit of information out of it I was hoping to unlock some new research but I guess that's not the case while we're at it let's go ahead and scan this guy too and maybe we can unlock even more Ooh, look at that goodness Okay, we didn't, it didn't look like we unlocked anything, honestly. There's still the regular four things in here, which I was hoping that would unlock some more, but maybe if we make this pickaxe of distortion, which is a really cool pickaxe that um, apparently it doesn't do soft materials well, but it does hard materials very quickly. So that could be useful. That might be something we try. What I'm gonna do is dig up as much of this taint as I can because what my end game with this is to make this tainted wand core and I need one, two, three, four, five, six of these. And I also need a taint tendril. So I have to find a way to make this taint tendril survive until I can get it back to my base. Uh, I think one way I could do that is by taking this golden bag of holding and quickly putting it in there. All right, guys, I'll be back with you later. Okay, guys, I'm back, and look what I found here. It's one of these tentacle things. Well, first thing I want to do is scan this guy. Uh, I was hoping that would unlock more research, and the next thing I want to do is fire ice balls at him. And he dropped a piece of taint. So what we want to do is be very quick about this. We want to grab it, open this up very quickly, and put the tainted thing in there. There we go. We got it. Perfect. Ha <laughs> ha. So I've collected four shards so far. I'm going to collect two more. And now that I have my taint piece, that is probably the weirdest sentence I've ever said. But uh, you get the idea, folks. Uh, as soon as I get some more shards, I'm going to meet you guys back up at the base. And we are going to continue onward. All right, hold on to your pants. Ah, it's a tainted pig. Run for your life. Holy crap. Ah, he got me. 
So look at that. The taint has infected this pig, and he's kicking my butt. Alright. Kick that pigu. Wow, that was weird. Okay, guys. It is actually getting pretty damn creepy here in these woods as this taint progresses. There's just a regular old zombie. But uh, I saw some weird stuff. I found something called uh, tainted pore. I mean, spore. And I got it. And when I... Um, look, here is just a thing of um, taint. You know, like that comes out of our cauldron. But this area is getting pretty creepy. I've got my tick six taint shards, but I'm going to get a few extras. And yeah, I just had to show you that tainted pig. It was creeping me out. All right, guys. See you soon. Okay, guys. We are back at our base. And it turns out I had to collect a lot of these taint shards. Uh, a lot more than I was thinking. Mainly because you need this vitum uh, aspect in order to make this thing. Let's take a look real quick. Um, here we go. Tainted wand core. It requires six shards. So we needed at least six, but we had to get a bunch extra because we needed this taint aspect. We needed 24 of it. So we had to collect quite a bit. So we were out there for a while. So luckily you guys didn't have to see that, but it was a pain in the butt. But anyway, um, we also got an extra taint tendril in case we lose this one. So I say... Let's try to get this thing going. Let's, um, first, let's get the taint tendril out of our bag. Um, let's see here. How do we want to do this? So, i got to be quick about it. Not like that. That's not how I want to do it. Let's open it real quick. Here they are. We're going to take one out very quickly and do that. Boom. All right. We got it there. Safe. Those things dissolve in your inventory, so you got to be quick with them. All right. Three right there. We'll do three here, and one Salus Mundi, and I think we're good to go. So let's give this a try. Alakaz I am. Cross your fingers, folks. This is a this is a tricky recipe. Ow! Stop it. Okay, here we go. Hopefully, I hopefully this works. If I have to collect more vitum, this is going to be a pain in my butt. Uh, quickly, quickly. There we go. Whew. Dang it. What is it doing? Oh, no. This is going poorly. What is it missing? Oh, it's just going poorly. That's all. <laughs> There we go, we got it. Whew. Holy moly, that was freaky there for a minute. It was just really screwing up. So we got it. We've got our tainted rod. <laughs> that just sounds funny. Uh, so I guess what we want to do is maybe put some caps on this thing. Turn it into a proper wand. So we're just going to use gold because thomium end caps are a pain in the but even bigger than the pain in the butt that was to collect this thing. So yeah, here we go. We've got our 150 uh, Vs holding wand. Actually, we should scan this before we make it. Let's go ahead and scan it. Hopefully this will unlock something. If it doesn't, this is... There we go. Look at all that. Whew. Did that unlock anything? No. Maybe that's all there is to this taint section. So you get this really awesome wand core. A pickaxe we haven't made yet. We might make that next episode. So yeah, huh. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, I have to apologize. I had a little slip up with the recording on that. But anyway, all I ended up doing in the last two minutes of missed recording was making gold end caps for this wand. I went ahead and took it back here to my base, um, my wand recharging area, and got it fully charged up. So let's check it out. Look at that. It's got 150 vis in it, in each aspect. That is cool as hell. So this is a really powerful wand. Unfortunately, at the moment, that seems to be it for the Tainted Arts. That's all I can do. I guess I can go ahead and make this 
pickaxe of distortion, but beyond that, there's not much else. So I, maybe this is a work in progress um, addition to Thomcraft. So I guess what we can do next is play with Apocryphia. This one looks like it has a lot more stuff to it. Lots more doodads and thingy jingies. So that's definitely an idea. So yeah, that's probably what we're gonna mess with next, at least with Thomcraft. We might take a short break from Thomcraft. You know, too much Thomcraft can be a bad thing, but I enjoy it a lot. So anyway, guys, as always, I wanna thank each and every one of you gorgeous people for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. And if you wanna subscribe, subscribe. And until next time, guys, we'll see you all real soon. Bye.